Hi and welcome again. Dashboards and project management are essential tools to represent and display your project's performance throughout its life cycle. You might use a dashboard for a standalone project in your organization, or maybe for a number of projects which is called a program in project management, and maybe for a number of programs which is called a portfolio in project management. In this interactive and dynamic dashboard in here, if you go and select any of the months or any of the projects, the information will be filtered out for that specific project or that specific month. For example, if I select February, all the information will be given in month February. The planned budget for each project in that month, the spent budget, and the number of total issues in the project and the number of issues resolved in each project. Besides that, we have a line diagram in here which shows the budget for each specific month throughout the year. And in this bar chart here, we have the total number of risks in each month. And lastly, on the right here, we have the budget in each of the locations where we are implementing our project. In today's video, I am going to show you how to prepare such a dynamic dashboard using pivot tables and slicers in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. In order to get started with preparing the dashboard, we should have enough information about our project. In here, I have the project names, their locations, budget of each project, the budget allocated or estimated, the spent budget, number of issues, resolved issues, number of risks, and the month that all this scenario happened. First of all, we should convert this range into a table. To do that, click anywhere inside the table, hold Ctrl plus T, then, if you have headers in your table, make sure to tick this part. Then we'll click OK. Next thing, we are going to prepare multiple pivot tables from which we are going to prepare the dynamic dashboard. Our first pivot table will be the project and the budget. So what I will do is summarize the pivot table and create in a new worksheet, click OK. And here, I'll select the project name, I'll select the budget and the budget spent. I will convert these into currencies by right clicking and then we will go to number format. From here we will select the currency and I will remove the decimal places. Then click OK. We will do the same for this one. Go to number format. From here we will go to currency, remove the decimal places and click OK. Next thing is to select the column chart for this one. Select anywhere inside the table, go to analyze. From here, we'll click on the pivot chart and we'll select the column chart and click OK. I will adjust and format this chart later. Next, we are going to have the budget for each of the month. So again, I'll go to insert. From here, I'll select pivot table. From here, I'll click new working sheet and click OK. And in here, I will select the month and the budget. I'll convert this into currency by right clicking number format. From here, select currency and remove the decimal places. For these values, we will insert a line chart. In analyze, go to pivot chart. From here, we will select a line chart, select the first one and click OK. We will further format this one later too. The next pivot table will contain information about the project names, number of issues raised and number of issues resolved. Again, go to insert from here pivot table and we will create the new pivot table in a new working sheet. For this pivot table, we will select the project name, number of issues and number of issues resolved. In the analyze and pivot chart, from here I will select the area chart and I will select the first one and click OK. Our next chart is to insert a bar chart for the number of risks in each month. From here, I will go to insert, go to pivot table and we will create the new pivot table in a new working sheet and I'll select the month name from here and I'll select the number of risks. For this one again in analyze I'll go to pivot chart in the pivot chart I'll select the bars I'll select the first one and click OK. Our last chart will be a donor chart which will represent the amount of budget per location. Again for that one we'll go to insert and go to pivot table we will insert a new pivot table in a new worksheet Click OK. From here, I'll select 
the location, and next thing, I'll select the budget. I'll convert these values into currency from number format. From here, I'll select currency. I'll remove the decimal places and click OK. For this one, I will insert the donut chart from the pivot chart. I'll click the pie chart from here. I'll select the donut and click OK. The first thing in here is to remove the field buttons, the title and everything from our charts. To do that, go to Analyze and I'll click Field Buttons. From here, I'll hide them all. I can remove the legend from here and the chart title. So I'll click the chart, hold Ctrl plus C and then go to Dashboard and paste it in here. I'll bring in all the other charts into this sheet using the same method. So now that we have copied all the charts into the dashboard sheet, it's time to sort and arrange them a little bit. For this purpose, I'll take this one to here and right click, go to Format Chart Area, I will remove the fill and then I'll remove the border from this one. Next thing is to add the data labels to here, I'll go to Design, I'll go to Add Chart Element, from here I'll select Data Labels and select Inside End. In order to rotate the data labels, right click on them, go to Format Data Labels. From here, we'll go to Alignment and from here, I'll rotate them vertically. I'll do the same for this one. I'll rotate them vertically. I'll do the same for the other chart. Now that we have formatted and sorted all our charts, the next step is to insert the slicers. So I'll select any of the charts from here and I'll go to Analyze. From here, I'll select a slicer. The first slicer I want to insert is for the project name. Next thing will be for the location and the last slicer will be for the month. And then I'll click OK. You can change the color and everything about your slicer from here. Or if you click down here, you can go to New Slicer Style and use a customized slicer. In here, I have already designed one, so I'll click on this one. I'll bring the slicer into here as well. I will resize it a little bit and take this one to here as well. And the next thing is to apply the same formatting on all the slicers. Since I have inserted these slicers only for this chart, so if I click any of the buttons from here, only this slicer will be updated. For example, let's select India. As you can see, only this slicer is updated and the other slicers remain unchanged. In order to ensure that the slicers work for all the charts in here, go to Slicer Tools. From here, we'll click Record Connections and you'll select all the pivot tables from here. And then click OK. So if I click any of them here, all the charts will be updated. You have to connect all the slicers using the same method. I click on this one, go to Report Connections and connect it to the other pivot tables. And then click OK. We will do the same for this one as well. So now if I select any of the months from here, all the charts will be updated. If I select any of the locations from here, all the charts will be updated as well. And finally, if I select any of the projects from here, they will be updated as well. This is how you can prepare interactive project dashboards using pivot tables and slicers in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoy our content, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.